don't pay your taxes, you go to jail for 10 years. Almost bankrupt the entire country. Ah, we'll let that one slide. Only in America. And we're back with another piss service announcement. I'm Marcus, and today we're going to talk about one of the most jacked up establishments in the entire country. And believe it or not, I'm not talking about Congress. Mind blown. Nope, we're going to talk about banks. Banks are a lot like gas station hot dogs. Stay with me on this one. We know we shouldn't trust them, but still we involve ourselves with them constantly. Banks are the place that we take our money, and we trust them to hold on to it, while they won't trust us with a pen. Motherfu- I just gave you a $400 check. Let me take home a damn pen, cheapskates. Wow. First PSA in six months, I can't keep it on track. Alright, here we go. Trains on the rails. Moving forward, banks. Banks hold a lot of power over the world. They basically take our money hostage by offering us scintillating deals such as positive interest, wherein they pay you to put your money in their bank. It makes sense. But they have decided that there's a brand new business model that they feel can be much more successful for them. And for my purposes today, we're going to call it the going in dry method. Wherein, while your money is in their bank, they're going to charge you negative interest. Which means you're paying them to keep your money in their bank. As if the banks didn't seem like they were controlled by the mafia enough. This is just one more thing that makes me think I should just start stuffing more money on my mattress, which means I should probably stop mocking everybody else who already does it. Is this really what the banks have gotten to? Weren't you just on the cusp of bankrupting this country eight years ago? They've got some iron balls to even be considering this giant FU as a viable option. It's bad enough that you've ruined the real estate market for any person who wants to buy a house in the next decade because you just handed out loans and Tom Dick and Ariel walk up to the institution. And what's worse is you didn't just screw it up for America. You screwed it up for the entire world and plunged it into a recession that we're still feeling the effects of today. But yeah, yeah, you go ahead. Charge us to hold our money. I'll be one of the first people at your door to pull all my money out and watch you flounder until the entire banking system fails. And hey, if that plunges the world into Armageddon, it was time for it to happen anyway. We needed to get rid of some people, and if I'm one of those people, that's fine by me. As you can tell, I'm a very optimistic pessimist. Which is what the world needs more of. And to anybody who still believes that the banks are too big to fail, we almost had the entire planet melt down because of a housing bubble popping. Imagine what would happen if there was an entire crash of the banking system. Be a nightmare. What are we gonna do? Go back to bartering chickens and horses for medical checkups? Granted, it'd probably be cheaper than what we have going on now. Hey everyone, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, give it a like and subscribe to the channel. Also, leave a comment. What do you think about the banks and this whacked out new idea they have? And until next week, have a good one.